Today was the day that I received my order of the Shack in a Box bundle from Elecraft. This is a bundle that Elecraft offers for the KX2. For more than a year now, I had toyed with the idea of getting other more affordable QRP rigs, but I decided on waiting and saving enough for a KX2 with everything installed. If you're looking into getting a Shack in a Box bundle from Elecraft, I hope this video helps give you an idea of exactly what you get and how it's shipped. Before we get into the box, let's see what Elecraft wants us to know about this radio. The first part of the overview states, Our KX2 Stealth Transceiver can go wherever your imagination takes you. Thanks to state-of-the-art construction techniques, it's only 5.8 by 2.8 by 1.5 inches and weighs just 13 ounces, making it the smallest full-featured HF radio on the planet. It puts out up to 12 watts, covers 9 bands, and shares many features with the KX3. As of the recording of this video, here's what you can expect to get with this particular bundle. Everything came shipped in one box. Once opened, I was pleased to see everything neatly packed. Right on top was the Elocraft cap, the carrying case, and the KXBC2 charger for the KXBT2 internal battery. Next up, we have the data cable, the external power cable, a mini banana connector, and the KX2 manual by Fred Caddy. Next was a layer of paperwork, including a receipt, a sticker, a pamphlet, a letter from Elecraft, and a document titled EC Declaration of Conformity, which listed a description of the equipment packed and the standards they comply with. Directly underneath was the official Elecraft owner's manual. The next few seconds were spent removing a tightly packed partition. Tucked in a slot on the bottom of the box was the internal battery. Next up was the handheld microphone, and finally, the Elecraft KX2. Further inspection of the box revealed nothing. Let's go through each item. First up, we have the carrying case with the Elecraft logo on it. This is the larger one Elecraft offers. Next up, we have the power cable with one end stripped, soldered, and ready for installing the connection of your choice followed by the USB data cable for programming. Elecraft provides a banana plug for making a counterpoise. This counterpoise would typically connect to the KX2 while using something like a telescoping antenna hooked at the radio. Next is the optional internal lithium ion battery, followed by the KXBC2 battery charger, designed specifically for the internal battery. Packaged along with the battery is a document listing the features, charging directions, warnings, and the warranty for the battery and charger. Packed in a small box is the handheld microphone. Let me quickly state, this feels lighter and cheaper than something like a Yezu handheld microphone. Nothing to worry about, but I'll cover more of that later. Packed inside the handheld microphone box was a document showing the parts and operation of the microphone as well as important steps to set it up before use. I was very thankful when I ordered to find out that the KX2 book by Fred Caddy was included in this bundle. I have heard from other hams how helpful this book was to really understand the KX2 and its vast number of functions and features. The only negative I would like to state is the print quality is not that great, but definitely legible. Also included, of course, is the Elecraft owner's manual. The quality of printing of this manual is top notch. Then finally, we have the KX2 transceiver. This is a tad bit smaller than I expected it to be. This is a good thing, given that the purpose I bought this was for portable use. I'm not going into detail about the ins and outs of this radio in this video, but I do want to mention some things. First of all, the Shack in a Box bundle also includes some internal upgrades that would usually be optional when purchasing just the radio. These include the KX-AT2 internal antenna tuner and the KX-IO2 real-time clock. I'm going to go off script for a moment and say, wow, this radio is incredible. I have thoroughly enjoyed operating the KX-2 so far. One thing I want to point out about the KX-2 itself is that because of the many features the radio offers, it takes a healthy amount of time to learn how to operate. At least it did for me. Because of the small amount of space for buttons, Short and long presses in a variety of combinations are what's needed to get the radio to perform different tasks and enable functions. 
This requires lots of reading and practice with the radio itself. I spent several days reading the manuals before I could get on the air. This is definitely expected and not at all a complaint. The KX2 is a powerhouse. It's mind boggling to me, the amount of things that Elocraft has been able to put in such a small package. The Fred Caddy book does an extremely good job in guiding you through the learning process by explaining what each feature does and provides an easy step-by-step -step process for each function. Reading this book has not only helped me figure out how to operate the radio, but to understand what the radio is doing every time I adjust a function or setting. I have only used the Elocraft manual a few times to double check on some things I had doubts on. Things like internal battery charge time and installation. I strongly recommend getting the Fred Caddy book if you're new to this caliber of radio. If you're using the KX2 for portable operating, such as soda and park activations, I recommend the KX-AT2 internal auto tuner given that in these scenarios you may only be able to carry small setups such as random wire and fed antennas, and those usually require a tuner. I currently have mine set up with a Pac-10 mini random wire antenna with a 9 to 1 unun. The internal auto tuner tunes up nicely so far for me on the CW and phone portions of both the 20 and 40 meter bands. I have not used the real-time clock much yet, but I may end up using it more in the future. The internal battery is almost necessary for the clock, since it keeps it up to date without having to program it every time you operate. Speaking of the internal battery, it's not the easiest thing to install, but it works well and gives the radio a decent amount of runtime. You can hook up an external battery while having the internal one installed. The KX2 automatically switches to the better power source while operating. Having to take the internal battery out to charge can be just a bit of a hassle, but well worth it in my opinion. Now the microphone. Although it feels cheap, compared to other handheld mics from other brands, it feels sturdy enough to endure the portable operations it was designed for. I'm certain it'll do just fine for what I will use it for. The carrying case fits the KX2 and all the accessories nicely. I can even fit a BioNO 3 amp hour battery and a small notebook with a bit more room to spare. It is a soft case, but sturdy around the edges, giving me the confidence it'll protect the radio while it's packed in a day pack or a long-term hiking pack. Now, I love hats, and the dark blue Elecraft cap is very well made. The bill is about a half an inch longer than the caps I'm used to, but I've grown to like it regardless. I'm very glad that the hat was included with this bundle. And that's it for now. I'm very satisfied with the performance of this radio. I've been able to get on the air quite a bit with little to no setup time. The KX2 is quickly becoming my favorite rig. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to this channel. I have other videos of portable operations, ham radio events, as well as vlogs of things I'm interested in. Also, take the time to comment. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.